Yo, what's up everybody, Professor B here, and this is the lecture for Abnormal Psychology, Chapter 4, Stress-Related Disorders, and rolling trip. Stresses of stress can have profound effects on our physical and emotional health. Psychologists who study interrelationships between psychological factors, including stress and physical health, are called health psychologists. The field is also called medical psychology. In practice, it also focuses on patients' mental and emotional reactions and ability to cope to an illness or recovery from an illness. There are four types of health psychologists. Clinical health psychology is an area of health psychology that focuses on treating individuals. Professionals pursuing clinical health psychology careers often focus on how an individual's lifestyle and behavior might affect his overall health. Clinical health psychologists will also usually work with individuals to help change bad habits or overcome lifestyle problems that may be affecting their physical health. Community health psychology focuses on the health of a community as a whole. Individuals pursuing community health psychology uh, or health psychology careers will typically study the prevalence of diseases in certain communities and what might cause them. Occupational health psychology focuses on the individual's job and his overall state of health. Professionals working in this area might work with companies and businesses to help create happier and healthier employees. This might involve restructuring workplace policies or counseling individual employees. Public health psychology is concerned with public and government health policies and programs. These types of professionals might work with low-income individuals, influence government's health policies, or help organize public health awareness campaigns. I'm looking at you, Trump. Okay, You need one of these. I'm telling you, you need one of these. Then I saw people running toward me. They were screaming, go, go, it's coming down. Just for a second, I looked up and saw it. I thought, I'm not going to outrun this. But then I thought maybe I can make it to the back of my car and jump in the back seat. Before I could make a move, the force of the explosion literally blew me out of my shoes. It lifted me up and propelled me out over a concrete barrier all the way to the other side of the street. I landed face first on this grassy area outside the financial center. And after I landed there, I just got pelted with debris coming out of this big black cloud. And then I felt it. But what sticks with me is hearing it. The womp of my helmet when I got hit in the head. The helmet literally went crack, split in half, and fell off my head. I realized then that I had just taken a real big whack in the head. I felt blood going down the back of my neck. And when I was able to reach around, I felt this chunk of cement sticking out three or four inches from the back of my head. It was completely embedded in my skull. Then it got pitch black, and I thought, I must have been knocked unconscious because it's totally black. But then I thought, I wouldn't be thinking about how black it is if I'm unconscious, and it was really hard to breathe. All I heard were people screaming. Screaming bloody murder. All sorts of cries. At that moment, I thought, this is it. We're all gonna die in the street. Exposure to stress especially traumatic stress, like that experienced by many thousands of people on 9-11, can have profound and enduring effects on our mental and physical health. This chapter focuses on the effects of stress on the mind and body, including stress associated with everyday life experiences, as well as traumatic forms of stress. Stress is implicated in a wide range of physical and psychological problems. Abnormal amounts of stress can lead to increased risk or to various types of physical illnesses, ranging from digestive disorders to heart disease. It can also lead to increased risk of other psychological problems such as depression and anxiety. In a recent study, it was seen that nearly half of Americans polled reported that their levels of stress had increased within the past
past five years, with one in three participants stating that the stress is extreme. Other psychological symptoms experienced due to stress is irritability and anger, while physical symptoms can include fatigue as well. Psychoneuroimmunology studies relationships between psychological factors, especially stress, and the workings of the immune system. So, a psychoneuroimmunologist would investigate